Now, from Pennsylvania Death Row, a commentary from Mumia Abu-Jamal. America's Martin and Martin's America. As millions of people ready themselves for a hopefully paid holiday in remembrance of slain civil rights leader Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., we are forced to come to grips with who the man was rather than who he has been projected to be. In the words of historian and once close confidant of King Vincent Harding, America has largely chosen the path of amnesia rather than remembrance of the man. Professor Harding wrote in his 1996 book, Martin Luther King, The Inconvenient Hero. It appears as if the price for the first nationalist holiday honoring a black man is the development of a massive case of national amnesia concerning who that black man really was. At both personal and collective levels, of course, it is often the case that amnesia is not ultimately harmful to the patient. However, in this case, it is very dangerous, for the things we have chosen to forget about King and about ourselves constitute some of the most hopeful possibilities and resources for our magnificent and very needy nation. Indeed, I would suggest that we Americans have chosen amnesia rather than continue King's painful, uncharted, and often disruptive struggle toward a more perfect union. I would also suggest that those of us who are historians and citizens have a special responsibility to challenge the loss of memory in ourselves and others, to allow our skills in probing the past to become resources for healing and for hope. In other words, Martin King cannot challenge those who make him a harmless black icon, then we surely can raise such a challenge, assuming that we're still alive. What distinguishes the life and work of King towards his latter days was his dedication to black poor folks, a group that seems to be all but forgotten in the years since his passing. While today's America seems to be on the brink of electing a black person, or at least possibly nominating him, the plight of the black poor could hardly be more perilous. For it is on them that the twin weights of poverty and state repression are dropped, with little relief from a civil rights leadership which seems more concerned with those of means and resources. Indeed, much of that leadership is, as was Dr. King himself, quite highly educated and seeking entree into the highest levels of state and corporate power, levels virtually impenetrable to millions of black poor folks. For them is reserved the worst of public education, the worst housing, brutal treatment by cops, ignored by political leaders, at least until a few days before elections, highest rates of joblessness, the highest incarceration rates, we know this list can go on and on. King Day may be remembered, but the man behind the name is fast disappearing. It is virtually forgotten that he sacrificed his life for striking garbage men, black workers who wanted a decent wage, but also simple human dignity. Happy Martin Luther King Day. From Death Row, this is Mumia Abu Jamal. These commentaries are produced by Noel Hanrahan for Prison Radio.